Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sharif and today we will be learning how to uh, calculate reactions, draw shear and moment diagram for this beam. This beam is supported on a pin support at A and a roller support at B. So we will have one reaction at B because the roller support and we have two reactions at A. Because a pin support, we have different types of loading, concentrated moment, concentrated load and also as well as uniform load. So to start doing that, we have to use the three equilibrium equation to get the forces. We can see here that no horizontal force, all forces are vertical. So summation of force in the x direction will lead us to the x at A equals to zero. And let's write an equation for that. So summation of Fx equals to zero. Therefore, x at A equals to zero as well. And this is our first unknown. So x at A is zero. Now, to get the other two unknowns, y at B and y at A, we can take a moment at A. So the only unknown will be the YB. Let's do that and write the equation. So summation of moment at uh, A at B equals to zero. Let's assume counterclockwise as positive. And therefore, we have this is uh, clockwise rotation, so it will be negative. Okay. Then 50 times 2, again, clockwise rotation, negative, negative. The only positive one, it will be YA, it will be counterclockwise rotation. So we start by the 20, so minus 20, minus 50 times its distance. The distance here is 2 plus 2 equals to 4, minus the resultant here, 30, times the whole distance here, which is 7.5. So it will be minus 30 times 7.5 plus the reaction, which is YB times the whole distance, which is 9. So plus YB times 9 equal to 0. And from here, we can get the Y at B equals to 49.44 kilonewton going upward. And this will be our second uh, reaction. Let's write it here as well. It will be 49.44. This is our reaction. Then summation of F Y equals to zero. Forces in Y equal to zero. Let's assume positive is up. Therefore, in this case, it will be, we have how many forces here? We have 50, we have 30. So the total coming from up to down is 80. And we have 40. Uh, 9.44 so we can get the y at a so let's write the equation for that we'll say y at a minus 50 minus 30 plus y at b which is 49.44 equals to zero and from here we can get the y at a in this case using the calculator will give you 30.56 kilonewton going upward and this is about calculating reactions to know more about calculating reactions, we have like six previous videos about calculating reactions. You can check them. Now, going to drawing shear and moment. But of course, like as a final, you, you need to make a check by making a moment at any other point, submission of, of moment at B. And by doing that, you will find it's zero. If it is zero, it means your calculations is fine and the reaction are okay. Then you can move now to drawing shear and moment for drawing shear we just follow loads we start from the left side and draw the load so let's write this value here is 30.56 this is the third reaction that we have and now let's draw the shear we go from left side going up is a positive shear so we go up then no load go up no load we go horizontal and then you will find that 50 will take you down then no load we go horizontal and then you have uniform load, this uniform load will give you a linear shear here. Then you will find the 49.44 will take you up to the zero and this will be the shape of the shear force diagram. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, let's start by uh, drawing the shear. I'm going from the left side. I have Y at A equals 30.56. So I will go up with a value of 30.56. Let's write it here. 30.56 and then there is no load here at this point so I will continue horizontal okay this let's take it here horizontal until you have 
this concentrated load 50 will take you down if you have a moment here like this it will not affect anything on the shear the shear is fine okay so you have 50 here will take you down so 30.56 minus 50 it will give you a negative value here which is 19.44 so let's go like this here it will be 19.44 and again in this part there is no load here so i will go horizontal for the shear it will be horizontal and coming to this part if you have a uniform load the shear will be linear so we go 19.44 a negative this is a negative value and then we have again a negative 30 so minus 19 minus 30 it will give you minus 49.44 at this point here so we'll go linear like that until reaching this value so go linear and the value here will be 49.44 and at this point you will find that the reaction here is 49.44 it will take you to up to zero so you'll go from here and we'll reach to zero again let's do this and this will be the end so for the shear we start by zero and you should also end by zero just to follow the load going up then horizontal then 50 will take you down then no load go horizontal then uniform load will take you linear then you will find the last reaction will take you to the zero and this will give you the shear force diagram this part above here is a positive shear and this part is a negative shear so this is the shear force diagram let's now draw the bending moment diagram for the bending moment i use the way that positive moment will be down and i will draw the negative moment up okay this depends on uh, the textbook you are using some people they use to draw the positive moment down and the negative up and some people they draw the positive up and negative down so here i'm using the positive moment is down okay so i will draw it down the positive moment when we do like that positive down and negative up it means we draw the moment at the tension side okay so let's do that for drawing the moment it is very important to know like the important the moment at some important points for this case like you need to get the moment at the beginning at, at the end of the beam okay at this point at, at this point also as any change in loading okay so here at the end of this load under this concentrated load for a moment you need to get it before and after if you have concentrated moment you should get it before and after because you should have a drop here in the moment okay there is a change here by 20 values which is the value of the moment here so let's start because this at the beginning it's a pin end support so the moment here should be zero the value here will be zero and then at the end ruler support here again the moment will be zero so i know two points then we have to get the moment just before and after this one we can do it from the shear people used to draw the moment from the shear it's okay and of course it will be fine but in many cases you will be asked to draw the moment directly without shear so if you don't have the shear you are going to face a problem here i'm going to learn or teach you how to draw the moment even if the shear is not available with you how to do that by taking a section so if i take a section at this point and let's take a section here at this point here and i get the moment okay how to do that i will say the moment here equals to force times distance so here i will take a moment here from the left side so the moment here i will say m equals let's write this an equation i will say m equals two okay equals to force times distance force times distance so this force is 30.56 times two meters and this moment is going up like that okay it is very important to keep in mind the sign convention for the moment you know the sign convention for a positive moment if the moment is going up like that from left or right this is a positive moment and if the moment is going down like this it is a negative moment so in this case if you take a moment at this point 
this 30 times 2 is going up this is similar to the positive moment so if it is going up it is a positive moment so 2 times 30.56 it will give us a value of uh, 61.12 so this is a positive moment yes it is a positive moment i draw the positive moment down so the value here will be 61.12 a positive moment and now you need to connect this point to that point if you don't have a load here so it will be linear why because the shear is a, a constant value and then the moment will be linear okay so just you need to connect this point to that point with a linear with one line like that now because you have a moment here we, sh we should have a drop it could go down or it could go up based on the direction so what to, to do just take a moment just after we take a moment after this if we take a moment after the 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 moment what is going to happen it will be the same value that we have it here okay it is a positive and this is going in the same direction so it will be plus 20 so the moment here it will be 61.12 plus 20 it will give us a value of 81.12 and the distance between here then we connect them by a straight line like that and this will be the drop of the 20 kilonewton. The distance here is the drop of the 20 kilonewton. Now we need to get the moment at this point. Again, you can get it by a section method. Assume that you don't have a shear and you will not use the area. So just get it by taking a section. So to get a section here, we take it from left or from right. It will give you the same answer for sure. So take a moment here at this point for the left side. So what I will say, I will say, m equals okay this is going up it is a positive so it will be positive 30 point 30 point 56 times this distance here which is 4 times 4 plus 20 is going in the same direction here so it is plus 20 okay this 20 here will give us a value of 142.24 it is also a positive moment it means it is going upward like this one so a positive moment i draw it down so i will be something here 142.24 and now to connect this point to that point again it will be just a straight line what else we need again the last point we need to get the moment at this point again you can get it from the shear minus subtract this value it will give you a value somewhere here but again if you don't have the shear what to do it is not a big problem just you can take a moment at this point from left side or from right side from right side it is easier in this case so what i'm going to take i take a moment from the right side at this point and i will say m equals okay how much okay this 49.44 going upward so it is a positive moment so it will be 49.44 times 3 minus 30 times 1.30 times 1.5 so minus 30 times 1.5 it will give us a value of 103.32 so it will be something like here okay one zero three point three two now we need to connect this point to that point and this point to that point here from here to here you don't have any load so it will be linear the shear is horizontal constant value and this will be linear so we just connect them by a straight line like that however for this point from here to here okay you have a uniform load this is uniform load the shear is linear the moment will be a curve in this case the curve will be just following this load this load is pushing down so we assume that there is an elastic between this point and this point and there is, you have some loads is pushing so the moment will be like that following the deflected shape of the uh, this line and therefore we can draw something like that and this will be the bending moment and all the bending moment here is a positive moment again i draw the positive down 
and therefore you can see all the moment is down it means all the tension force in this beam is down and keep in mind here also that you have uh, at this point you have a moment here so you should have a drop in this one the load is pushing down again the moment is going down you have a uniform load here so the moment also will be like a curve so the bending moment will be following the deflected shape of the beam i hope that this is useful and if you uh, like it please uh, uh, just follow the uh, coming videos thank you for watching